And I'm going to say nothing of this whole thing. I'm just going to let you listen to the music because the music is different and so good. Like, this is the best track in this game, in my opinion. Ah, uh, maybe I can't be bothered to do this entire level, but yeah, this this music, the Pianta Village Fluff Festival. Oh, this music, this and the um, Pin and Park Beach music, they really encapsulate the f me the feel of this game. Just that level of like relaxation it's like um just just look we can just actually about see that's where Noki bay is in between those two like segments there but it's just oh. you've got this beautiful setting and the music is just so nice and relaxing i love this like this level is the pinnacle of the game for me i this so i've talked about this when i played mario galaxy that those levels where you're just given time to gather the 100 purple coins or 8 red coins or whatever the fuck it is. I always really like those levels in these games because they're seriously like just relaxing. They're actually you know, just explore the level, look for shit, go ahead. Uh, because a lot of this game specifically can be really <laughs> stressful. Uh, no one who's played this game would deny that. But here you're just given, you know, play around in the level. Enjoy the place. Listen to the music. Chill the fuck out, basically. And this music gets that so well, and it's like, this music just brings me back, like, I listen to this, it's it's 2008 again. 2008, 2004, god, fuck, I'm old. Um, but it's, this is the best track in the game for me, because it captures the soul of the game, which is captured so well by the pure blue skies and the fluffy clouds and stuff like that that is not any part of the gameplay that you can inherently capture so much as it is the feel of the whole game of just it's so nice and relaxing that it's it's world building is not something you think of for a mario game set when you have eight levels to deal with but this game does that it does it, it, it builds a world in a sense of it builds a deeply, for me, interesting and just relaxing world. It doesn't need the most amazing plot, it just needs a world that can engross me and that I could just fucking lose myself in. I could do it when this game came out was when it when I was nine and, and I can do it again when I'm one two nine. Um and this game will never I don't know I mean surely one day it will, but for now it still has not lost that appeal of just this is a it has its parts that are incredibly infuriating, but it, in so many ways this game is also just deeply just relaxing. It's just a very... It's a really pretty game to play in a, in a world that feels so nice and enjoyable. 
Ah, I'm going, I'm going in deep because I've had like seven to eight pints tonight. And I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I was like, well, if they release a, a remake of Mario Sunshine, I'll get blasted and I'll play Mario Sunshine. And I have drunk a lot of beer and here I am playing Mario Sunshine. And this is... I remember... So, right, let's go in deep. I I wanted, as soon as I started Let's Playing, I wanted to play this game. Because um, I was like, oh, I really want to do a Let's Play of Mario Sunshine. But my brain was like, no, you need to wait until you're a bit better at the, the concept of planning and executing a Let's Play and just uh, uh, doing this kind of commentary. You just you need to get better at that. And, and the other part of my brain was like, ugh, fine, I'll do other shit. And then I came back and did Mario Sunshine. And was like, oh, let's do this. And I loved it. Uh, that, that first um, Let's Play of Mario Sunshine is, is one of my favorite series. I absolutely loved recording that series. I wa I've watched it back relatively recently. I was like, I loved it. Everything about it. To the point where, yeah, I, I, I've, I've devised a way to, to do it again. It's the only series I've done a second time. And you know what? I fucking loved it again. Um, sitting and recording this series has been so much fun for me. Like, it's been, what, two sessions? Um, there's one session last time where I did, like, two hours. This time I'm sitting here on four and a half hours. Maybe that's because I suck at the beach, uh, the shell secret on Noki Bay. Which took a significant amount of my time. But it's been... It's been so enjoyable to do this again, and like, I talked about this last time, but like, I was just, as I was recording last time, I was seeing the comments come in on the end of Pikmin, and then now I've seen the comments come in on the first episode of Sunshine, and everyone's been really, uh, like, <sighs> my regulars, you know who you are, I don't have to give out usernames at this point, it's, it's so nice to hear from all of you. And it, and it really is. And you've all obviously <laughs> immediately chimed in on the first episode. And that's so nice. And it's... It reminds me why I like to do this and why I care about this, <laughs> basically. that uh, Obviously, I'm not a massive YouTuber. Um, the, I, I don't have the biggest following, but seeing the regulars so reliably appear and we have these discussions and stuff and it, it's so good and and having having you guys that i can rely on is is so nice that this is it's only a minor thing but it is a distraction from 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 the from work and from from all the other parts of my life just to have this outlet and and this community that we've we've built over the last <laughs> eight years turns out we've been doing this for quite a while um and so god I'm, I, I i'm getting emotional but thank you to to all of the regulars i mean god you know who you are and if every like when if, if you comment on this this episode you know i'll respond uh, because at this stage the regulars you know who you are um and and you guys you make this worthwhile you really do um and just sitting here on this tree fucking chilling out listening to this music and and thinking about how you guys make this worth doing for me it's awesome and and i i really do thank you guys because i wouldn't bother doing this if it weren't for you so genuinely from the bottom of my heart thank you you guys are awesome um and on that note, uh, I'm actually not going to finish level this level because I can't remember where the fuck any of the rest of the red coins are. So I guess let's head off um, to do... Oh, we got to chase down Shadow Mario in Noki Bay, so let's go on and do that. So for one time, all, uh, time will find a good one. Final time to chase the man down himself. Hold it, Shadow Mario. And this again is one that I remember being relatively straightforward. Until it isn't, um, like this is often a thing with the Shadow Mario levels. They're like they're, they're all right until you take some weird part of the route you've actually not seen before, and he can really do that. He he has a, a number of potential routes that can be deeply problematic. Ugh. Oh, well, we got them already. Holy shit! That took me like five seconds. Yeah, curses! I won't forget this. And so with that, uh, we get to the part of the lit. Lame. Part of the game that ten-year-old Doctor absolutely fucking loved because it just it recasts everything is when you return to Delfino Plaza now and everything is so different because It 
it's weird. I've, I think I've talked about this before in a number of series, but I find something vaguely, uh, for want of a better phrase, fascinating about flooding. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't like flooding. No one likes flooding. But seeing areas of, of land that are not normally underwater now being underwater, I find vaguely just enticing isn't the right word, but like fascinating, vaguely just like seeing shit underwater that's not supposed to be underwater. Part of my brain is like, holy fuck, this is, this is something, and this is fucking weird, but it's also really fucking cool. Like, does anyone else get that? Do let me know in the comments. Am I just a absolutely fucking weird freak? Or, like, I always, I always find this part of the game fascinating when I was a kid, because I was just like, oh, the level, the whole level's underwater, like, you can, you can go and we can, we can dive down and see what we think we know, but it isn't the same. I guess that's a real part of it, is like seeing, seeing stuff where your brain's like, this is the thing I know, but also it's not the thing I know. Um, and, and that's, I think that, that dissonance is, is what I find really interesting. And I guess, yeah, part, part of my brain just, just finds that fascinating in a way that I just cannot articulate. But anyway, um, time to, to hammer this home once and for all. Let's head into Corona Mountain. Oh, I'm only now remembering how actually fucking brutal the Corona Mountain part of this this game is. Uh, and I was like, oh yeah, we'll we'll just walk out of the shrines and then that'll be it, and we'll be done for the night. Um, except it's not that easy. Uh, we've got a lot of crap to do, including that shit with the fucking boat. Um, and I'm very very drunk. And now I've got to nail all of that successfully. I mean, at least it's nice because I don't have to actually gather all of the blue coins because I only have to gather the ones. A bit, gather the ones that are relevant. I was going to say, but we have to gather any blue coins because because I'm not 100%ing this. I just need to any percent this, which is quite frankly, get past the boat nonsense and get to the fucking top of the level is all I need to do. Can I do that in one shot? I mean, we're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> right, okay, cool. Let's let's zone in, let's focus. Right, let's get close and talk, and right, here we go. Oh, shit ass! Oh, not a good start, is it, Doctor? Cool, right. So, that's, that's amazing. That's not a brilliant start. Let's just gently tease it. Tease it. Ooh. Tease it, tease it. Right, I'm, 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 I'm. I've lost in powers. It is what I've done here. I'm gonna be facing fucking backwards. How the fuck have I done this? Right, no, 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 no. Do not want. Right, cool. Yeah, sure. Let's go backwards. Why the fuck not? Right, cool. There's a reason why I hate this part of the game. Um, is it because I'm shit at it? D yes! Why not? That is clearly a major part of it. Right. Let's deal with that. And then let's push forwards. Bit of blasting on the top left. To let's spin around and go that way again. Whoop! No, 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 Jesus Christ, I suck at this part of it. Holy shit. The amount of time I've spent fucking going backwards should tell us something. God, I am, I am not looking great in the old the old water way. Uh, right. Cool. Wonderful. Let's go, I guess. Let's try and get a bit of bit of bit of bit of revitalization from this the fountain of youth here. Cool. That has at least brought me back to life, which is something. Is it? Oh, right. Let's go for it. Oh, no, what the fuck? 
Oh god, my heart. Oh god, that's that's one of the main things I'm learning. This is my heart has not got the capacity it had. Is this the first? It said. Is this literally the first time I've grabbed the rocket nozzle outside of Delfino Plaza in this entire game? Absolutely says probably. God. Um. But yeah, God, this game just <laughs> hurts my heart it's in in so many ways. I'm just like, oh god, it's it, it's it, it it I'm 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 not ready to deal with that. Uh, this one should catch me here, and then to the middle, and then go up to the dark cloud. <laughs> the water's great, hey Junior. Sure is, Papa. Come on in, Mama Peach. Uh, I think not. Mario! You again? Don't you ever give up? Mario! How dare you disturb my family vacation? No, oh, Bowser's accent has got no better over the... 18 years since this game came out? Good lord. Um... But I like the fact that they, they, they definitely double down on, on the fact that Bowser is fucking gigantic. Because he is, and, and and we always knew this, but it's like, the man's massive. Uh, I hate the fact that like, Mario, how dare you interrupt my family vacation? And and I've, I've spoken in, in volumes already about the whole Mama Peach thing, and, and so we're, we're not going to talk about that anymore, because quite frankly, uh, no. <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, no, nope, yep, no, yep, no, 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 yep, no, okay, you're breathing fire that way, which means we have to go this way. Um, this final boss fight is actually relatively straightforward. I had a lot of trouble with this when I was a kid, but a lot of it is about realizing how to move around this arena and just, and how to use the rocket nozzle. Like, here, I'm going to go right, he's going to breathe in front of me. And then you just have to turn around, and then you just do have to keep running in the other direction until potentially he breathes in front of you, but usually he doesn't. And so you can just keep moving on that way, but usually I would try and... Uh, yeah, he's going there. Uh, you can, basically, if we do... If we breathe fire onto Bowser's face, yeah, you can actually stop him from breathing in front of you. Um, oh, there we go. Mama, hoo -ha -hoo, wow, wow. Come on, get out of the water, you idiot. Oh, no! Fucking bullshit! Ugh. Now, do I have to do the whole fucking Corona Mountain again? Is that the kind of game this is? Now we have to do just this. But yeah, you, there is the trick of, of, of blasting him in the face at the right point. <laughs> that sounds naughty. Um, but hey, let's hit the first one and let's, let's cut ahead. So, I'm already on the way to number four. Which I've missed, because I'm an idiot. Uh, let's try that again. Harder! There we go. Oh, oh one day I'll get used to that fucking map. Uh, and basically, as long if we keep moving fast enough... Oh, oh no, shit ass. There we go. I can just about... Oh, shit bugger. There we go. We can get past Bowser there. Oh, oh. Well, he's hit me, but he doesn't seem to have done anything with that. And then with that... Wallop! This was this was fucking traumatic when I was a kid. Was I um assist? I I think I legitimately cried. It was like, was I off assistance? And then he just fucking dies. That's awful. Like Mario, the man who's like fought with you through thick and thin, and then he's just like, Master Mario, I tried. Forgive me, basically. And it's 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 horrifying for a small child. I legitimately cried at that.
did I get a tear in my eye now at the end of this game? Because this is probably my favorite single Nintendo game. Ugh, Wind Waker is fucking good. Uh, and Wind Waker is probably better than that in some ways, but also... I've been playing this game for nine hours and I've I've completed it. Wind Waker is obviously more than that. It's like, yes, there are certain games to which you commit more and that makes them good. But also this one, like, this is, this is a low commitments game, but it's really good. It's got a great gameplay. Its story is, is enough? It's it's enough to keep it going. It's not having the amazing plot that a that 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 Wind Waker has. It's definitely not the amazing plot that like a fucking hundred hour RPG has got because it's not going for that. But it just goes for enjoyable and it's a it's a really pretty game. Like it gets this feel of being like a a, a desert, not desert island, but like a, a tropical island that just really nice. It's a nice place to be. Is this game? <laughs> there are other games, like, don't get me wrong, like, uh, and I'm going to talk about this a bit in future projects with games where it's like, there are there are games where I just like spending time in those games. This is one of those. Uh, it's not the top of that list for me, but just for games that you just enjoy being like, being in the game. But fuck, I've sat down here and I've played this for a second time and I fucking loved it. It's a great game. It really is. I, I, I find the gameplay has... A lot of huge flaws, don't get me wrong, but it's, it is a deeply enjoyable bit of gameplay. And But the music and the game design is so good that it just it creates a really nice feel of just a game I want to keep coming back to. There aren't that many games that I've let's play that I want to do again, really. Because you know my style, I, I like to do games completely. And as such, I don't like to be, I don't, feel like I leave a lot of stones unturned, but there are a couple of games that have a really nice feel and a really nice world that they build that I'm like, actually, that's so good, I want to do that again. This is the first, obviously, second uh, second Let's Play I've done, and I've loved it, and I'd do a fucking third one, quite frankly. But I should talk about this point. Uh, what's next? Um, the f third and final part of the single largest series on the channel is coming next. If that hint is enough for you to get it, there will be, of course, a trailer at the end of this, but it's... I mean, the first episode, the first series was 52 episodes, the second series was 74 episodes, the third one, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I am very excited for it. It's just been announced for a remaster. I am not going to be playing the remaster because I want to get the, the full effect I haven't played the first and second game, but it's a big one. Um, and I think it's going to be really good, and I'm, I'm very excited for anyone to join me. If you haven't watched the first and second, uh, ep like, s installments in that series, you can still join me for the third. I will try, you know me, and make it as accessible as possible. Um, but here is what's coming next. The end of a, of a story I started nearly six years ago. That's going to be the end of the Mass Effect saga. There's a lot of people back on Earth dying while we gather our strength. They're wondering if we're ever coming back. Friends, family, parents and children. This isn't their fight. But they're buying us time with their lives. We need to stand together. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can. Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Each of you needs to be willing to die. Anything less, and you're already dead. Shepard, we got Reaper C. 
signatures in orbit. 